A reading from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 12, verses 49 to 53. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter and a daughter against her mother a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Jesus says to his disciples, Do you think that I have come to give peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. What does this mean? It means that faith is not a decorative or ornamental element. Living faith does not mean decorating life with little religion, as if it were a cake and we were decorating it with cream. No, this is not faith. Faith means choosing God as the criterion and basis of life. And God is not empty. God is not neutral. God is always positive. God is love, and love is positive. After Jesus has come into the world, it is impossible to act as if we do not know God, or as if He was something that is abstract, empty, a purely nominal reference. No, God has a real face. He has a name. God is mercy. God is faithfulness. He is life, which is given to us all. For this reason, Jesus says, I came to bring division. It is not that Jesus wishes to split people up. On the contrary, Jesus is our peace. He is our reconciliation. But this peace is not the peace of the tomb. It is not neutrality. Jesus does not bring neutrality. This peace is not a compromise at all costs. Following Jesus entails giving up evil and selfishness and choosing God, truth and justice, even when this demands sacrifice and the renunciation of our own interests. And this indeed divides, as we know, it even cuts the closest ties. However, be careful. It is not Jesus who creates division. He establishes the criterion whether to live for ourselves or to live for God and for others, to be served or to serve, to obey one's own ego or to obey God. It is in this sense that Jesus is a sign that is spoken against. This word of the Gospel does not therefore authorize the use of force to spread the faith. It is exactly the opposite. The Christian's real force is the force of truth and of love, which involves renouncing all forms of violence. Faith and violence are incompatible. Instead, faith and strength go together. Christians are not violent, they are strong. And with what kind of strength? That of meekness, the strength of meekness, the strength of love.